Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of an Aussie Farm in the Philippines. Well, today we're going to be making sausages. So we've got all the trimmings here ready to go. I did have another pack I made um, from the old pig, which I made out of um, herbs and spice for um, Bob to make out some uh, patties, which we've done. So the patties are all done, ready to go to Bob tomorrow. All in packs of two, as his request. So this morning got up early, made ice cream. So ice cream was, what's the ice cream, hun? Peppermint and flake? Yeah. Peppermint and flake ice cream. Yep. Right, so she's doing a gate. That's why she's got a gate clothes on. So I made up peppermint and chocolate flake ice cream. Right, go shirt cam. Yep. Right. So look at that. Look at that. Fucking beautiful, mate. Absolutely beautiful. So they're all little individual. I found the individual tubs are better than the big one and going for scoops. I found that much better. And the newer ones I've got now, they've actually come with little spoons, look. How good is that? So I give these out to the kiddies. So I've also made up this morning, I'm always up early, so I've made up spring rolls, some Thai spring rolls. So this is spring rolls with um, prawns in it, or shrimp in it for the Americanos. So very simple, it's just um, carrots, cabbage, vermicelli noodle, and prawns. And of course, sauces, cook all that up, and then you put it into these to be done. Done. So that's it. Now I'm going to go out and get some corn done while I'm waiting for this to defrost a little bit more. Then we'll put this through the mincer. We'll add all our stuff to it. And Barry, being a butcher, is going to show me how to um, uh, make these ones, the Aussie ones, and how to tie them. So it's quite good. Let's get going, guys. Right, so where's my plastic container? Here it is. Oh. Right, the incubator's going well, guys. I'll show you all the babies out of there so far. Now, this was a mixture of eggs, so they weren't all put in at the same day. So I've got these off the floor in the back corner of the turkey house, where there was about three different chickens were laying in there, and there was over 30 odd eggs there. So uh, they've all been, of course, been there for different days. They've been sitting on them as well. So um, some have been hatching out after the second day. Then we had nothing for a few days. Then some more hatched out, and so forth. I'll show you them now until I get the corn done. Right, so chicks out of corn, I'm just about out. So I'm going to fill this up to the top with cracked corn, which is this stuff here. Like, ah. I'll fill it up with this, and then I'll put the sack on, and I'll turn the dial right down and turn it into a powder for chick, for her goats. But uh, this machine works well, guys. It's going bloody good. Lovely, absolutely lovely. There we go, guys. That's taken me 15 minutes to do. 15 minutes. Used to take me all afternoon. So I'll move this on the side now and I'll put the bag onto it. I'll tighten this right up and uh, let's get some hammered corn powder for her. Alright, so this one guys, we laid up on the scoop. Yeah, look at that. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So load this one on the chute because it's got to go through slowly because it's pushed so tight up against it that uh, if you overpower it, it will just stop straight away. So the other eggs, the other chickens we've pulled out so far on the incubator, guys. Look at these little bastards, look at them. All different ages because, like I said, um, they're all laid at different times, so I was setting on them. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yes, babe. Right, so that's the corn done. So that's all done for me. She only has a small bit, so I do hers probably twice a week because she wants to keep it fresh so it doesn't get any mould on it for the goat. If she gets any mould on it, then um, she get, they get a cough up. A cougher. So um, that will keep her going happy now. Right, change shirt again. Turn to it again and let's get some stuff done inside with those sausages. Right, we're cutting up, we've got 12.8 kilos of all the trimmings and stuff. 
And we've also got the good stuff here. What is this stuff called, Baz? Meal. That's your meal. meal. That's your meal to Gluten. go with that. And we get free. some yummy cold water, freezing water with that as well. Put it through the mincer. We've got all the four skins here, look. Look at that, the four skins and the five skins. They're all there, ready to go. And uh, let's say this was thanks to Stu of the Dirt Health Build of Building Our Dreams vlog. And uh, we're going to cut this up in little bits and feed it into the machine. This one's full. This full, it's automatic. <laughs> oh, okay, you see that big fingers. Well, so that's the first first one's gone through. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put a smaller dice on that one and we're gonna put it through. And um, the next one is when we separate it. Because this is still too coarse, isn't it, for, um, yeah. Yeah. for what we're talking about? We can't tell you what it is, guys, because it's a surprise. It's a secret. Shh. We like secrets. Hey, Stacey. Well, right, guys, so the first mince has gone through. This is the second mince here with a smaller one. So she's, she wants... These ones are going to be straight ones for chick. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. We're going to have enough left for sausages, otherwise you just give her eight. We've got some over there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, we'll give it 10. So this is going to be for Chick Chick's um, good quality farm yeah, mints with nothing on it, no salt, pepper, herbs, nothing at all. So 500 gram packs. And um, we've still got one and a half to go, so it's still enough for sausages. Right, so what we've done now, guys, is um, this is still the first one. The second one we've already put away into 10 packets of half kilos for Chick. So now what we're doing, we're mixing this one up and we're going to put some water with it. We're going to put this through the machine again, don't we? Yes. And we put the water through it after that, don't we? No, it's the water in it now. Now, right, there you go. So I'm learning, guys, I'm learning heaps, and I'll tell you, the next one we do, we're going to do a live sausage one. The next one we do, for sure. Right, guys, so what we've got is, um, we've got the plain one, we've added um, Barry's, what's it called, gluten-free, gluten, yuck. Gluten-free meal. Gluten-free meal. See, that's what it is, Australia. They've all got pussies, guys. All got pussies. And this one here, is, we've got the dill. This one is from Andrew Smarts in Germany. So we're going to put some of this dill tips in there. And uh, we're just frying up a bit now of each one. Give it a test first to see. And then we'll put it through the machines and um, pump it out, guys. Try it. That is just the, um, the mead with um, white pepper. I like it also. So hard. do I. We just had the dill one. It's that was gorgeous. It's a different gorgeous. flavor, yep. but it's also nice. I mean, different from the one. That is gorgeous, Baz. Mm. Just, that's just your plain with mm. the pepper. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. 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 Right, gonna put this one through. And Baz will put this one through. Then uh, we'll do the sausage skins. Johnny's gonna love this one, hun. Oh, Johnny. Shout out to Donnie. Okay. Right guys, so we're just cleaning everything up. Chick's doing the spring rolls I made earlier this morning. So it's been a big day. We've got ice cream, spring rolls, sausages, dolls. Mmm. Mm. Absolutely going well. I oh, oh, happy with the meat? So I like the taste of it too. It's very nice. And what Bazza does, being a butcher all those years, is when he makes his sausages up, he just tastes the mince raw and he knows I'll add some more to that. So just a raw sausage man. A raw sausage. Raw sausage. Can you believe that shit, That's hey? Raw sausage. He goes, here, try something. Like, get fucked. Get fucked. No way, not taking that. 
Oh my God, lunch is all out the way. Billy's a fool with the spring rolls I made up. Full belly eye. Yeah. So we got eye helping us today. She's going to be the plunger runderer. On that, I'm going to be operating the machine, and Baz is going to be saying, stop, go, stop, go, and doing all that stuff that they do. So this one is going to be the plain mix. I'll tell you, it turned out absolutely gorgeous. So it's amazing the difference between your own pig with the food that you feed it, the proper feed, not that bloody banana leaves and bloody duckweed and shit. Amazing. And even when Baz cut up the um, pork, the pig yesterday, he was amazed at the fat layer on the pig. It's a very good-looking pig. And I tell you... Tasted great. Right, shirt cam is on. Power on. Push right. Here we go guys, look at that, look at that. Perfect. Lovely. It's working guys. The Aussie Hobby Farm is doing it again. Let's give it a stick in there. Well, guys, that's the first length done, and we're just loading her up again. <coughs> Polly, chill, baby, chill, baby. So that we're going to have a nice supply to keep us going for a bit of time, guys. Very nice. So, of course, we'll take some into Noel, of course, Noel in Panabo, and Bob as well. Bob and Joy will get some tomorrow as well with some um, bacon and some roast. Want the, was it the roast with the bone on it, the rib roast? What do you call them? Crown roast. Crown roast. So we look after Bob and Joy as well. Right, so we got six to a bag nicely. Look at that. So Baz has got them out, giving them a tingle. We give these ones a bit of a, a roll up together and just lay them like so, guys, just like this. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Mm -mm. So thank you, Stu, for the skins. Thank you very much. Okay, give him a bit of a one, two, three, four, five, six. Have a look at that. Fuck my dog. That's another right. six. Hard to get right. to your sister. Who's the daddy now, bitch? Who's the daddy now? Right, guys, so the first ones went down. We got 11 bags, six to a bag. So 11 bags, six to a bag we got out of that one. So that is bloody good. Now we're doing the ones with the uh, dill from. The big German guy, Andreas Martin. No, straight on. Right, guys. So, so same thing is. Um, these were the the dual ones. These are the dual ones. So, what is going on out there? Wait, me. Right, guys. So this is what we ended up doing. We end up getting. We put them all in here level. We don't want them squashing up until they freeze down. So um, we ended up getting 25 bags with um, six sausages to a bag. So we've got the, uh, the plain ones that Bezza made, they're fucking beautiful. They taste better than the ones with the dill actually. So we've got all those in there. Plus, like I said, we don't want to, we don't want to, don't want to stack them on top of each other. So we lay them all down, look. This is all your dill ones. So it's all overall, it was a bloody good day. So we've got ice cream made, we've got spring rolls made, we've got sausages made. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get on to the goats. Catch us all later on, guys. Back soon. What's for dinner for their last supper before they head back to Australia, hun? Beef minudo. I like that. That sounds good. So we just finished at the gates. We just locked everything up. It's the end of the day for us. And of course, today being Wednesday, and it's the State of Origin Day. So we got the State of Origin paid up on um, the Facebook from um, Missy's husband in Australia. Normally, Missy does this for us, and she'll put it through so I can sit there and watch it on the, uh, the Facebook, they put the computer in front 
Watching, watching, watching. And of course, Bazza being a Queenslander, Missy being a Queensland supporter. <laughs> oh, you're still the Blues, are you? Oh, God. Normally, normally um, when these games on like last year, they're all sitting there with um, beanies on, jumpers on, it's freezing cold. Freezing cold. And here we are sweating our ass off. So we're four minutes, six seconds into the game. So all you guys have a great night and uh, we'll see you all tomorrow on the Aussie Farm in the Philippines.